Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy universe we call YouTube. Today, I want your help to go to jail. Yes, that's correct. I want you to help me go to jail. And I'm calling all trolls, I'm calling all supporters, I'm calling all of you to help me go to jail. Because for my longtime viewers, you probably uh, remember a video I did at the last election that we had in Canada that was a federal election. And apparently, it is illegal to take a selfie of yourself voting that indicates who you voted for. So I've been fighting to get my day in court and the investigative uh, department of Elections Canada, the commissioner of Canada elections in the Ottawa region has been uh, corresponding with me intermittently. They've been kind of lazy the last little while, probably because of the pandemic. They're too busy drinking coffee and just enjoying themselves on their high salary positions. But they have sent me a correspondence today and I want to share this with you because it's absolutely crazy. Now the crux of this matter is bad laws that are unconstitutional need to be overturned. That's the whole reason to have the Constitution. People died in the great wars around the world so that we can have rights. And Canada got a Constitution in the 80s called the Charter of Rights. There's a long-standing opinion by many constitutional lawyers in Canada saying that this law saying that you can't take a picture of who you voted for would be overturned if it was challenged. So they're a bunch of pussies and they're too scared to actually charge me and uh, go have it go through court because they're at risk of having it overturned. But hey, you gotta fight for your rights. It's not about burning down uh, stores in Portland for rights. No, it's about just doing it the right way through courts. And ironically, <laughs> the reason that they're also picking on me is that I voted for a conservative party. The People's Party of Canada, it sounds socialist, but no, they're actually the only true right-wing party in Canada. The Canadian Conservative Party has become a bunch of neoliberals, almost indistinguishable from the Liberal Party of Canada, which is in par power right now with a minority government. Thank goodness at least uh, Trudeau only has a minority government. He has to do business with other people often to get the bills through, but I think at some point uh, the whole Trudeau regime will implode anyway, but that's that's a whole different story. But I want my day in court. I've told them, look, if you want to arrest me, just tell me the time, I'll surrender. You can come to wherever I'm at. I'll even turn myself in at the local Royal Canadian Mounted Police for booking. I've told them that, just no problem. Just no problem for me there's going to be no fighting no resisting i will show up for processing arrest and for something like this they'll obviously just release me on my own recognizance so i won't need to even post any bail i'll just have to do a signature promise to appear now of course i'll have to appear in court or else there's a penalty for that but of course i want to go to court i want to challenge this i want to risk my freedom to fight for the right to do a selfie now i realize many of my viewers in the united states they have laws like this in many states a lot of them are slowly being overturned or the laws are being repealed because it's a dumb law and I'm going to get into why that is. But let's uh, talk about the correspondence. Let's go through it. I'm going to show you what they said and I'm going to tell you why it's really stupid. And I'm going to show you how you can actually email them to demand that I get my right to go to jail. Yes. Send the screw boy to jail. It'd be awesome. It'd just be totally awesome. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna open up the file here. It's an attachment. Apparently they tried to send me a letter registered mail from their senior counsel and it was somehow returned. Don't know why. They know my address because uh, you know I pay a lot of taxes. So let's get into it. Okay, this is file number 2019-0991. That's the file number you need to quote to, to get the screw boy in jail because we need to have this uh, ruling of what they decided to go with uh, overturned so they can reconsider to get me in front of a judge. I am writing on behalf of the Commissioner of Canada Elections, the Commissioner, who is responsible for ensuring compliance and enforcement of the Canada Elections Act. The Commissioner received a complaint alleging that you contravened sections 281-8 subsection 1, subsection A, and C of the Act 
oh, I've been so bad, photographing and showing your marked special ballot during the 43rd general election that took place October 21st, 2019. Paragraphs 491, 1E and G, making an offense to knowingly contravene, blah, blah, blah. Essentially, the penalty is up to $5,000 or imprisonment up to six months or more. So I guess I was wrong on the three months. Maybe the act has been amended since I looked at it. I could have looked at a uh, statute that was uh, earlier. Anyway, this pertains to my YouTube video, which is actually up. You're going to see it up in the cards here, entitled... I'm going to jail for three months for voting selfie. Yeah, you can check that out if you're curious, if you did not catch that back when I did that video. Apparently, the evidence provided the commissioner with reasonable grounds to believe that you contravened the provisions of the act. In normal circumstances, here's where they get really lazy on their enforcement, considering they're all high-paid federal employees. In normal circumstances, charges would have been laid against you. Trust me, I asked them to charge me, but still they're they're going wimpy on me here. However, existing pressures on the British Columbia criminal justice system as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic requires that choices be made regarding the optimal use uh, made in the courts. Okay, 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 you're, you're playing that card. <laughs> Here, the commissioner has come to the view that in light of the exceptional circumstances currently prevailing, the public interest would be best served by issuing you with a formal caution. Oh, that's what they're giving, a formal caution. That's so Canadian of them, a formal caution. That's like the caution on a coffee cup that says, caution, hot. <laughs> oh, that's really scary legal warnings here. I do know in the United Kingdom, a uh, caution has something different of a meaning from the police, but... <laughs> We don't have these cautions like they do have in the United Kingdom. This is just a scary letter. A caution is a warning to discontinue or cease engaging in behavior that is contrary to the act. Any subsequent contravention of these provisions on your part at a future general election could result in enforcement action against you. See how they said could? They didn't say will result. Yeah, you see, you gotta, you gotta really read what they're saying here because this was written by uh, senior counsel. This person's a lawyer, so <laughs> they got to give themselves an out because chances are I'm going to do it again. Right. So they're going to keep subscribing to my channel and <laughs> they got nothing else to do sitting in their you know offices. Right. So I want to go in front of a judge, have it overturned. That's all I want. I just want my day in court. Heck, even if I lost, which I doubt I will, <laughs> They're just going to give me a tiny fine and tell me to get out of here. And this type of conviction is not involving moral turpitude, so it won't affect my ability to own a, a rifle or a firearm or, you know, or travel. It's, it'll have no consequences for me, except for maybe they'll never hire me to work for a Elections Canada again, which, ironically, I have worked for Elections Canada in the past as both a clerk and a deputy returning officer. So I'm probably on the naughty list that they won't hire me to do that again in the future. Oh well, I'm willing to live with those consequences. Now this is where they talk about why this law is such a great idea and I'm going to tell you why it's a dumb idea. It might be useful if I provided some information concerning the purpose of these provisions. They are intended to protect vulnerable individuals who may otherwise be pressured to provide evidence of the way they cast their vote after being pressured and intimidated to vote a certain way. Really? Really? <laughs> While I certainly can imagine there is the odd imbecile that this could happen to, but here's the entire problem of it all. If you are proud to vote Republican, if you're proud to vote conservative, I'll even say if you're crazy enough to vote liberal, <laughs> You should be proud of that vote, take a picture of it, post it on social media, whatever. Especially with all the lunacy that we got going on with the liberal governments popping up all around the world in the United States of Canada. If you vote conservative, you should be darn well tootin' proud of that. Take that picture and encourage others to do the same thing. Nothing wrong with that, that's just an expression. And an um, expression like that is pretty much protected under the Constitution of Canada. So. But here is where it gets even funnier. We have mail-in voter ballots. There's nothing stopping anybody from selling their vote. I could get my mail-in ballot, go to my neighbor and say, hey, give me 10 bucks, I'll vote for whoever you want. I could fill it out, lick the uh, envelope shut, 
throw it in the mail. That's how stupid it is. Taking a picture doesn't stop anything when you got all these damn mail-in ballots that can be sold. <laughs> They're not stopping the mail-in ballot procedures. And it's pretty tough to even do that for Canadians because Canadians are world travelers. They're all over the damn world. Some of them live permanently in other countries forever and still vote in the election. So you can't stop the mail-in ballots from happening. But they sure as heck want to intimidate me from taking a selfie picture of a ballot and being proud of it in an election booth. It's crazy. These people are nuts. All these people are doing is justifying their overpaid federal government jobs. I've worked for many government agencies, probably seven in my recollection in my life, and government is bloated with do-nothing uh, people that are not competent. As a matter of fact, this senior council person, they obviously work on a salary working for the government. I don't think they were retained. And even if they were, they're not chasing the big bucks. If this lawyer was a super competent lawyer, I suspect they would be pursuing a different line of litigation. You know, chasing ambulances and that stuff. Things that really pay the big bucks. Not sending lawyers to RV nomads like me trying to intimidate me into actually not taking a picture and challenging the whole thing in court. It's dumb. Bad laws need to be challenged. They need to be overturned. It's the whole purpose of having a constitution, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, going back to the, the rest of the letter. The file at our office is now closed, and no other measures will be taken in relation to the events of the 43rd federal election. Okay. Well, I beg to differ. I say if enough of you actually email <laughs> to the person that was running this file, they might open the damn file up. So I suggest you get on your Gmail, your Hotmail, your Yahoo Mail, whatever the heck email you use. And I want you to campaign for me to go to jail and get my day in court because I'm a very bad person and I need to go in front of that judge. <laughs> anyway, this was signed yours truly, Genevieve de Passil, a senior counsel. I guess she's a francophone, oh yay. Gotta hire those bilinguals. <laughs> That's the key to getting actually a good federal job in the Ottawa region is being bilingual. Other competencies are kind of, you know, optional. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen people work for Canada Customs at the border that got hired not because they were really appropriate for the job. It's only because they could speak a little French. <laughs> C'est bon. <laughs> Très bien. Je suis Canadien. <laughs> Anywho, in support of uh, my campaign to get me locked up, I need you to email the actual manager of this file, whose name is Sylvie A. Uh, Hamaretti, LLB. She's got a law degree. Okay. Apparently, this is the manager of the compliance unit. Ooh, scary title. Anyway, I'll put this person's name up in a graphic and you can actually email this person and quote my file number and send that to compliance unit at cef-cce.ca that's an official government email so i'm not actually doxing this person that's not their private correspondence email it's an official government email so i'm allowed to publish that without any accusation of doxing make sure you quote the file number which is 2019-0991 and just say hey line screw one needs to be prosecuted and you need to open up this file and make sure that he gets his justice that he is due and maybe you could one day see me locked up Woo! at the very least go in front of a judge and pay a somewhat hefty fine you know it's all good fun folks you gotta fight for your rights if you don't fight for your rights you just get trampled over. And this is just a small example. There are much bigger laws that are even more stupid that need to be challenged and overturned based on constitutional arguments. So I hope you're doing well. Get on that email, fire them off, try to get this thing reopened. And maybe one day we can have a good laugh and a beer over the whole thing. <laughs> I got you, I got you, I got you